And it's a real honour to be standing here. It's, a, it's been a real honour to attend the previous meetings. One month ago to tomorrow, I stood up on the gantry in Welshpool and faced an audience of 1,100 farmers. And the momentum has moved on since then. And it's been a peaceful momentum. You've kept credibility. You've made a very strong statement. And more importantly, we've kept public support. So congratulate yourselves on that. Give yourselves all a big clap on that. As an industry, we should be proud of ourselves. We're the mainstay of the rural economy. And you know, the show of force here today is absolutely, to stand in front of you here today is absolutely overwhelming. And you haven't even all arrived yet. There's still 26 buses on the way in, but we will have to carry. Okay, keep those people here. And also give the people in the Lambing Sheds that can't be with us today. who would absolutely love to be with us here today. And, uh, and my wife being one of them, and my wife would uh, really like to be with us today. I'd like to thank the organizers for organizing this event today. It's not an easy feat to organize a large event like this in the center of Cardiff. So, die, die out now. I just want to... Um, do some housekeeping rules. Be, be polite. You might not agree with everybody's opinion, but we are farmers and we are a polite bunch. So please be polite when somebody says something that you don't totally and utterly agree with. It's, uh, it's important that we keep our credibility as an industry moving forward. Um, right, I'm going to move on now to the first because I just want to say something else. This is our battle, okay? This is a farmer's battle, and the Allied Industries battle, and rural Wales's battle, and nobody else, okay? So. Okay, if I can ask the first speakers now to come to the floor, um, Mr. Ian Rickman from the FUW, Commandant of Farmer, Abby Reader on the local patch here, and Deputy President of NFU Cymru, and Mr. Nigel Owen to take the podium. Okay, if you'd like to come forward. Thank you. Jill Quinn, pronounced that. My answer for a sale from Mary Cymru. Jochen Vaurichi Gied Emma is Senedd and Cardiff Heddiw. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, it's great to see so many people here. 
Um, and what this is about, it's about working together, okay? We've come together today as a rural community. So we all know the three issues, the three issues we're here to talk about today, the big issues that have been with us. Some of them have been with us for a long time, like TB, and will be with us for a long time unless we get some progress from the Welsh Government. MBZ regulations, that's something relatively new that's come in uh, the last three or four years, but we're fighting against that as well. That's another big issue concerning all of our members and all the farmers here in Wales. And the third issue, of course, and that's where this has all come to a head, really, isn't it? Is the government's SFS consultation. Um, you know, I've travelled the length and breadth of Wales, as Abby has, um, and other farming leaders. We've been to those farmer meetings, presented the Welsh Government's consultation to members, and you can see the faces of those members in those meetings drop as we go through the consultation, okay? It's a lot to take on. There's a lot of issues in there. It's my job now, the same as Abby's job, the farming leaders, the farming unions, to work together with the Welsh Government to get a scheme that's workable for all the farmers of Wales. That's what we're going to try and do. Um, and you guys being here today, as the meeting in Welsh Pool, the meeting in Carmarthen, and those tractor protests that are seen around Wales, that helps to strengthen our position, okay? That makes it easier when we go in those meetings. So instead of us just telling the minister, well, this is what the industry thinks, this is what the industry thinks, you're getting that message across loud and clear today. So Diolka and Valve for coming, okay? So, this is about working together, okay? This is a, we're all in this together, as the saying goes, okay? There's strength in unity, okay? So we need to stick together. This is not about point scoring. This is about working together to get the right result for our industry and for our rural communities. A great example of that today is those rural businesses who have sponsored buses for people to come down from North Wales, from far and wide, okay? So give them a big round of applause. Um, so we've, we've heard the comment before, you know, well, why should farmers get support? It's that support that we that moves out into the rural economy. Those rural businesses or rely on farmers um, for their living and their income. And that's really important message to get across here. And I think we're doing a great job of that today, guys, because we're all here and we're in it together. We're proud to be here and we're prouder still to be feeding the nation, okay? It's about food production as well. That's what we do as farmers. So a huge thank to everybody. Huge thank you to the public, as Wynne said earlier, for their continued support to the whole industry. Uh, we, you know, I'm sure we're going to get that today and we're going to continue to get that, but we get that by continuing with peaceful, law-abiding protests, okay? We get our message across, we're doing that job today. Just like to finish on one note then, um, you know, the FUW warned the Welsh Government not to awaken the sleeping Welsh dragon, okay? We've said it before and I think that's very up to date. The dragon is now well and truly awake. Have a good day, guys. Okay? Go. Print down, print down, everyone. It is absolutely amazing to stand here and look at all of you. It's, it's putting the hairs up on the back of my neck. Um, we are all stood here today because we are completely united. There are groups right across Wales. People have come down from the hills, the mountains, you've come out of the valleys, you've come off the coastal areas. Everybody has come here today to make sure that we make a statement. None of us should be here, and we're remembering everybody who isn't here at the moment. The people that we've left behind in our lambing sheds, in our carving sheds, those who are behind trying to get crops out in the field. Everybody is here in spirit, even if they're not here with us now, and it's, it's a credit to the entire industry to just, to just see the scene that is in front of me. Um, I'm not going to lecture you as to why we're all here now. And it is about three things. Whether it is bovine TB, whether it is increasing regulation, or whether it is to do with the sustainable farming scheme and the crazy farm support payments that seem to be rolling out in front of us. What is really, really important that all of you remember is that we are an ambitious industry. We are here every single day to make sure that we produce safe, traceable, nutritious and affordable food for people. 
We are here to make sure that we are looking after the environment, promoting biodiversity, and we are here to make sure that we meet those net zero commitments the society is asking us to do. We cannot do it if we do not stand together. Every single one of you who has come here from rural Wales is here to support that. We need, we are looking for a Welsh Government to listen to us. All of you have come here now to be listened to. That is all that we're asking. The only thing universal about this scheme at the moment is that it is universal for no one. It, it's not acceptable for anybody at this moment in time. Your voice is being heard behind the glass behind me. It will be heard. <laughs> Henry, we have got a saying, which is, we are Welsh farming. I can genuinely tell you today that you are Welsh farming. And we will make sure that we get a result from this, because every single one of us matter. So thank you. Thank you very much for the, the honour of coming to speak to you here today. In 2015, I was very privileged to referee uh, the World Cup final in Twickenham, the proudest moment of my career. But today, I'm even prouder to come and speak in front of good, decent people. And an honour to be here to speak and to support you today as a fellow farmer. I was brought up in a council estate in West Wales. Council Estate in West Wales. My first dream as a little boy who was eight years of age was not to be a referee, but was to be a farmer. It's taken years and years of hard work to achieve that goal, to get a small holding and a small herd of pedigree Herefords. And I do it because I care, because I'm passionate about the industry that we're in. Not just for our way of life, but without farmers there is no food. There can be no Six Nations game in Cardiff here in next Saturday against France if there is no referee. There can be no food on the table if there is no farmers. <laughs> can I also say as well that you must take huge credit for the way that you've conducted yourself in the last few weeks and few months in the protest that has been going on, in the way that you have done that, peacefully and with integrity, with respect to others as well. Driving the tractors up the M4 from Krasans to Panabram, yet leaving the outside lane open that emergency vehicles of people who wish pass could. That is why the majority of people in Wales are behind us and will support us, because of the way that you are conducting yourself in a respectful manner. This is not about politics. This should not be personal about individuals. Politics should not play a part in this. Yes, politics need to listen, but everybody should pull together and keep united in for the future of farming in here in Wales. In decades time to come, we want to see people in those Wellingtons there, not empty ones. Not only, not only is our livelihoods at stake with the loss of over 5,000 jobs, not only is it going to demise our communities, our culture, our history, our language. This is why it's important. There are things that we can do better as farmers. We have changed the way we do things. And we will continue to look after the countryside and the environment as we always have done. And all we want is to be treated fairly 
a policy that is fair. There are a lot of things that are beneficial within the policies that's on offer, but there are some things that are not. And all we want is to sit down and find a way forward and work together. And that is all we want and that is all we should expect. And the respect in doing that as well. It shouldn't matter who you are. It shouldn't matter where you come from, what the colour of your skin is, your sexual orientation, your religious beliefs, your political views. All that should matter is that we all are treated with respect and treated fair and given the same opportunities to live our lives and our livelihoods as we've always done. I urge you as a farming community, myself included, to continue to raise your voices, but to continue to do it in a respectful and peaceful way. <clears throat> and may I leave you with this thought. Not only do we have a responsibility in what we say or what we do, we sometimes have more of a one if we stand by and we say, or do nothing. You have not stood by and done nothing, and you must continue to do that in the respectful way that you have done. Thank you for your time. Good afternoon. God bless. Follow that. Pretty difficult for me to follow that but um, fantastic and thank you all three of the first speakers for giving the insight and the knowledge into the industry. Okay, as many of you will be aware, there is a debate happening in this building behind us this afternoon, so it's only right that we do hear from some politicians, for them to earn their money and for them to stand in front of you. So can I ask first, Mr. Andrew R.T. Davis, Fina Bjornweg, and Sam Kurtz, and Cleo Griffin to come forward to give your deliberation. Good afternoon, everyone, and can I thank you all for coming here to Cardiff Bay today? But more importantly, can I thank you for what you do as a community? You feed the nation. You build communities across Wales, you strengthen those communities, but above all, by standing here today, you're sending a message to the Welsh Parliament and the Welsh Government that you're not happy. And you're not happy with a single, with a sustainable farming scheme. Are you happy with a sustainable farming scheme? No! You'll need to be louder than that because Cate's Park, where the Welsh Government devised this scheme, is across the other end of Cardiff. Are you happy with the sustainable farming scheme? Yeah. I think he might have just about heard that. But what we as an industry do is make sure that we provide the food for this nation while protecting the environment. And above all, what we must continue to do and be allowed to do is produce that food, protect our environment, and allow the next generation who wear those shoes and boots to come forward and farm like we have and our predecessors before us. And when you have a scheme on the table that talks about taking 5,500 farmers out of existence, reduces cattle numbers by 125,000, takes out 800,000 sheep and takes 200 million pounds out of the economic output of the rural economy, then that really does put a question mark over where we're going as a country and where we're going as an industry. And I give you this commitment that from the Welsh Conservatives' perspective, we will work with any politicians to make sure we secure that future and make that gain. And whilst the Welsh Government made an announcement yesterday on TV and on looking at NVZ, regrettably as we stand here today, nothing has changed. And it's still the case that NVZs and the lack of progress on TB 
have also caused you to come here today and let your presence be felt and heard. Now, what we want to make sure is that that presence manifests itself into change. So do you want to see change in the sustainable farming scheme? Yes! Do you want to farm for the future and for this country? Yes! And above all, do you believe that you are the best farmers in the world who produce the best food in the world? Yes! Then let's make change happen and let's get this scheme right so that we can carry on doing what we do best which is farm and care for our environment. Thank you once again, and you've conducted yourselves marvellously. Let's continue that and make sure our voices are heard loud and clear. Thank you.